go. We're starting out. All right, here's our pool. So let's go ahead and look at it one at a time. We'll start with our artifacts. I like to start with those. We get a chaos key right off the bat, so that's probably an auto include. We also get Destruction Plans War Hulk, which helps us out if we want to go dwarves. We're looking pretty solid for dwarves. We also get Effigy, Terabot's pretty solid, Heavy Warbot, Infiltrator Bot. Wow, we got some pretty good stuff in, in our artifacts. So that's already looking very promising for dwarves. On top of that, we get a Mesmerize, is really solid. Two Oracle Songs, not bad. Mutate's not bad. Uh, Wendango is really solid. Like right now, our Sapphire is looking really solid. We also get a Splinter of Azoth. I mean, right now I'm thinking Sapphire is really strong for us. We also have a uh, Trans Mystic, which could we could give quick action for removal depending on how much flying. We get a Relentless Corruption. One Relentless Corruption is not the greatest. Uh, two Willing Banshees and Inquisition is not bad. Another Malice Demon. I got Malice Demon yesterday, but I didn't play him. But he could be a nice finisher, if we're, especially if we're playing Sapphire with a lot of removal. We actually don't have a ton of removal in Blood. We got two of these, and uh, Harvester is really good too. So Blood and Sapphire are looking really strong for us right now. Uh, Diamond gives us Repel and a Skyl Griffin and Citizenry. And that's, so that's really, Diamond looks pretty weak right now to me. So I, I think I can go ahead and r rule that out right away. Uh, in Wild, I have, you know, some okay stuff, nothing too stellar, a, a honey cap, yeah, Wild is pretty much ruled out as well, uh, a Wild Aura, but nothing, like, over the top really good that just makes me be like, ah, oh, I need to play Wild. We also got no ramp in there. And then Ruby, let's see, we got a Burn, which is decent, a Bombsmith is decent for Dwarves, we also get a Mortar Strike. I'm really looking at Blood and Sapphire right now, I think that those are... That's going to be it. We're going to go Blood, Sapphire, some sort of Dwarves. We'll probably go with Bertram. That seems pretty solid here um, with the uh, the stuff that we've got. So call it a Grave, maybe, but definitely want the Chaos Key, the Construction Plans, of course, Effigy. We can give this Flying. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and throw Flying on this thing. Bam. So I really do like actually throwing... Um, with my mystics instead of giving them flying because i have so many flyers anyways i'll just instead i'll give him quick action so i can drop him in and he's he's removal uh he plays troop at any time with the quick action speed plus i can play it in my end step so i, I think that's really good not sure if i really want to play this relentless corruption or not maybe i don't know splinter seems pretty solid corrupt harvester is solid wizard is not bad play the mouse demon for the top of our curve terabot's also good when Dango, we give this guy flying. Now, this is a definite one you want to have flying because um, you want him to have evasion. And he also blocks really well, so really good. Mesmerize is good. Inquisition, early Inquisition is good. Peak, maybe if we decide to play Corruption. I've got a lot of evasive stuff. Infiltrator Bot, of course, is good. I kind of want to pick up some Dwarves. I don't know if I want Tech Genius, though. Uh, at least one Oracle Song, maybe two. I don't really want to play Dark Spire Priestess unless I have more Dark Spire Priestess, so she's pretty much out. Gearsmith seems decent in this deck. Infusion of Ice is, shouldn't be too bad. Call of the Grave, I guess I've got some decent stuff to call back, so we'll go ahead and play that. Splinter is, or Splinter, the, uh, if I was drawing lots of cards, maybe, but I don't think I'm going to play that. That seems kind of a little bit over the top. Let's see, we got 17 cards right now. I kind of want to play this Relentless Corruption, but at the same time, I don't know if it's going to do a lot for me. It's a it's a win con. I can always sub it in if I feel like someone's playing some really powerful stuff to try to steal their stuff. Stoneclaw Gargoyle is a pretty decent one, though. Uh, Necessary Sacrifice, I guess, could be good with this champion to draw me cards. Yeah, that seems pretty solid to draw me more cards. I mean, I could draw a lot of cards with this deck. With Splint, I mean, Sliver could get there for me. I just feel like I just hate cards that are just dead on the board state. That's all. Mutate is decent for card draw and, you know, minus one, plus one. And draw a card. So I could actually use that on Wendango and get something. Or I could use it on Mystic of the Tranquil Dream and then block with it. No, that was that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know what I would use it on. Let's see. Salt box, X bot, 
Axbot's actually not that bad. It's another robot. I actually don't have a ton of dwarves really in this uh, in this deck type. I actually don't have a, a lot of um, good targets for heavy welding bot either. So maybe I should just go with the card drawing and play the corruption. Just go all card drawing and peek. I play, yeah, I just play combo y. Turbo transfer could be good too. And then what else? Peek. Although I should probably just play Wailing Banshee, to be honest. If I had, if I could give Wailing Banshee some sort of uh, um, life draining, then that would be much better, but I don't have that option. I don't know. Peak Sliver. I don't know. I really don't like this Sliver. We can we can play it on, if we feel like it's going to go, Game 2 is going to, if we're playing against some sort of control deck or something in Game 2, we can always sub it in. You need to get rid of a couple of cards here. These three cards. Probably the peak. Let's see. Peak and then Oracle Song, I guess. Necessary sacrifice with Bertram should never be a dead card, so I, I really like that point, you know, that factor of it. I'm sure if I want to run two two Oracle Song or not. What is it, Elliot? Uh, you need to wait. I guess I'll get rid of one terrible transfer. Preach blood could really keep me alive. I think I'd rather run Oracle Song over Mutate, maybe? Ah, this is kind of hard. Right now, make sure my stuff is gemmed. That's all I'm doing there. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to I'm really, really pay for playing this Relentless Corruption. I just love it so much, though. It's so good. I'm having a really hard time now. I almost want to play 41 cards right now. Okay, so maybe the Gearsmith needs to go. He is a dwarf, though. But the chances of him hitting are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He has a good chance of hitting. I can't get rid of him. That's actually a pretty decent chance of hitting with him, so I don't know that I can get rid of him either. It's another one that just draws me cards. I don't have any counter magic. That's kind of a problem. I kind of want to play 41 cards right now. I can't get rid of any of these. These are just all too good. Maybe not Effigy or something. I don't know. It's another flyer. I, I'm drawing so many cards, I think that I can be fine with 41. I think I'm just going to go in on 41 here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go We're going to go 41 here. Uh, I typically don't do that, but I feel like it's kind of warranted right now. It's what we've got, so we're going to do that. All right, so Blood, Sapphire... Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Blood icons. What is it, Elliot? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Sapphire icons. So it's yeah, just one more blood than sapphire. So this will be a 9-8 nine, nine split. Okay. I don't really think that there's a card I can get rid of here. I mean, in games 2, I can maybe get rid of, like, Inquisition or something. If I feel like I need to, or, like, an Oracle Song. But I, I think this should be... I th this should be a really great deck for me. This should be a really great day for me, uh, playing this deck, I think. Decent amount of removal. 
stuff. Some pretty good win cons. So I can draw my opponent's cards. That should be this should be really interesting to play. Alright, fine. Can't even see you. I need to move the camera down. Move the camera down a little bit. Oh man, this is exactly the the uh, thing that we didn't. See. I know I we know. can't. All right, there we go. There's Elliot. <laughs> uh, we'll play first, obviously. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is pretty bad. Um, man, I guess I'll keep. I have to draw a resource. He's coming at me with a vengeance. So he's going totally ruby, which is exactly what I don't want to have to play against. Uh, I guess we'll start out with that in case I get a turn two Inquisition. There's a chance I could have a turn two Inquisition. Hopefully I draw a resource. I need to draw a resource here pretty badly. I do have a Mesmerize eventually if I draw a resource. If I don't draw any resources, obviously I'm dead in the water here. So. No turn one. Oh, he's got a charge bot. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Turn one charge bot. That's fine. He might be playing dwarves. He might be playing uh, ruby, ruby dwarf stuff. All right. Well, I guess I get to play my chaos key here. Oh boy, we really need to draw a resource next turn, Elliot. As guy. Elliot, am I gonna win or lose this one? Uh, I'm gonna lose. Yeah. That is the worst prediction ever. Uh, I do not accept that prediction. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Yes, I say you. You say me? Yes. What? Ha ha ha. Just laughing at me. Yes. You're not being very nice right now, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, destruction. Do you know that's what we call you? Because you destroy stuff. Yeah, you. It's really feeling good about this deck, too. Ah! Swanto! Swanto? What's Swanto? Yeah. Okay, I really don't want to use Mesmerize here. I've got five cards in hand, so I'm perfectly clear to play this Oracle Song on myself. I've got a blocker for his guy, which... I guess I could use. So we just got back into this game. Mistborn Wendango could really ruin his whole deck concept too. Probably Inquisition Gearsmith next turn. I'll go ahead and make this block if he attacks. If he's got if he's got something, that's fine. If he activates his champion power, I'll take three. Runic Monolith Exhaust Troop Artifact or your other stuff. Can't so he's going to exhaust my guy, I guess, to swing for four. I guess that's decent. You can do that every other turn. If he doesn't exhaust my guy, I'm making this block. Okay, I guess I'll make the block. Taking three. Trading dude there. And then we'll Inquisition. Hopefully I can get some, some big fatty here with my Inquisition. I want to use this early here so so we get a good uh, good look at his hands. Let's see what he's got in his hand. He's got ooh, a Heat Wave and a Squirrel Titan. So we'll take that Squirrel Titan. Thank you. And the Heat Wave doesn't matter too much. We'll play a Gearsmith here. We'll see if we get a card draw out of it. We just had a Sword card. Replicated Thunderbird seems pretty good. Oh, Terrible Transfer, Harvester, nothing. We don't kind of whiffed on that one. Oh, well. We already drew a couple of artifacts, so chances were pretty good we weren't going to draw our artifact there. Anyways, but we've got a blocker now. Or, or we get to be a little bit offensive for a little while. We know that he's flooded. Are you meowing? Like a cat? No, I said it was music. You're saying music? That doesn't sound like music to me. Also, I get to play Wizard, which is pretty sweet. So this this game just went from really, really bad for me to pretty, pretty good. Considering he's flooded, the only thing he's got in his hand is a Heat Wave. 
So he may have to actually cast the Heat Wave to deal with my Wizards, dude. Um, no, I'm not even going to worry about that. We will... Um, I guess I'll play Wendango. Yeah, because I know what he's got in his hand. I want him to use it. So I'll go ahead and play the Wendango after attacks. So we'll go into attacks first. No, attacks. We're going to attack him. Attack him with that Gearsmith. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't want to. I'll play the Wendango. I have to be careful. I can only take him down to uh, to a 3-3 three, three because if I take him down any more than that, there's a very good chance he can respond with like uh, two with a burn. This at least this way, if I if he's a three three, he'll have to double burn him. <laughs> he's I... played a resource, so you know if he heat waves here, all he gets is my gear smith, which is in pretty inconsequential. What are you doing? I was dying. Yeah, I don't think I want to throw out my wizard until he plays that heat wave. Um, I can play my stone claw gargoyle, but I kind of want to wait until I have like a resource in hand. And I had to play the resource to actually get to be able to play the stone claw, so I'm waiting for the next resource to to play it, so I can toss that away if I need to, because I want to keep all these cards in my hand. So I don't want to have to make a a bad choice. So we'll see if we draw a resource here. We'll just swing for two. Okay, call a grave. I'm gonna keep. Or actually, no, that's fine. We'll we'll keep all this stuff. I don't really have a play here, so I'll go ahead and we'll just buff this guy and then swing for four. Still hasn't used his runic monolith, which I'm surprised about. Ellie, what are you doing? I like my face. You looking at my face? Yes. Why are you looking at my face like that? His <laughs> guy. I've got it. I've yeah, stop hitting me. You don't you know you don't do that, okay? Okay, say okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Yeah, see, I knew you were gonna be sad about that. If I play Silver Talon, I'm kinda of forcing the uh, heat wave out, but I don't think I really need to do that right now. I can just I'm dealing four damage a turn. His clock is uh like four turns. Let's see, four. No, it's five turns. So he's on a five turn clock. That's perfectly fine. Like, adding the wizard talent, I don't think is. I think it would be better to just wait. Getting that early uh, Cray Squirrel Titan out of his hand is probably pretty good, too. Why are you drinking that drink? Because I like to drink drinks. Do you like to drink drinks? Yeah. Yeah. There's a Hellhound. Okay. That I'm gonna have to mesmerize. Oh, he's gave it spell shield. Spell shield. Oh wow. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Hmm. Well, I might have to throw out a blocker now or do something. I can throw a Wendango in front of it. Oops. I should have played the Stone Claw Gargoyle first. Can't mesmerize it. Alright, let's just gargoyle here. He can die, day. Can I die? FG. He he's gonna win. He's gonna win? I don't think he's gonna win. Yes he do. Let's go ahead and get rid of FG. I feel like that's the play here. I wanna have mesmerize up still. Don't have a. I don't have any attack phase here. Stop it. So he swings. He can pump him. He can make him a ten. He can pump him for ten. And I can throw both of my guys in front of him, and he can give him like Swift Strike or something. It would put me in real bad shape. Or Crown, I guess Crown works too. Wow, well that stinks. No, like number five. Day. Crown cost one, so we can do that right now. I don't like number five. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. 
I can throw a worker bot in front of this guy or gearsmith or something in front of his blaze elemental. He didn't throw crown on. Oh, yeah, he did throw crown on his thing. What happens if I chaos key it? Is that like when this chosen true blaze ray reversed its constant, it has swift strike, right? Yeah, it has swift strike. Man, that is just rough. That is just not even fair, Elliot. Um, I guess I'll take seven. Like, it's not even worth me chaos keying his crown right now. Yep. Resolve, I guess. I can chump him in a turn. I've got wizard. There's really no reason not to to do this block here because I know he still has heat wave in hand. He's got no resources. I can swing for five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then he just swings back. Uh, I wish I could mesmerize here. That is just rough. Uh. <laughs> you can't die the guy. I need a blocker, so I guess I'll sacrifice Wendango to him. Swing for three, play the wizard, draw out his thing. Let's see, I guess I'll swing for four here. That is just ridiculous to get that combo online. You don't like that day? I do not like that at all. So we'll do that. Let's throw this up. Mm, he's gonna heat wave here. This will force a heat wave out. So he should heat wave here, and then I can still chump his guy with Wendango. But I'm just I'm just too far behind right now. I need like some life gaining to have a chance. And then I can call to the grave my Windango back. And then replay it for another chump block. Okay, that's swift strike. Plus everything else. Oh, he's gonna tap my oh, never mind, he wins. I forgot about that. He hasn't been using it the whole time, so. You I just did lose. I lost pretty hard. I guess I'll let him run his clock down here. Okay, I'm not sure why he isn't heat waving here. He should have heat waved. Oh, does he have Crush? Oh, he has Crush. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and surrender here. Go to the next game. Why are you going to the next game? Because uh, we just lost. That's why. You lost? Yeah, we lost pretty hard, Elliot. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be a long game. I don't know that I have anything else that I can really play in here to really deal with that if that were to come up again. I got Inquisition, that's all I've got. And I Inquisitioned something early. I don't see really any other things I could be doing here. So I guess we'll just save and continue. I can't deal with things that... Oh, yeah. So I just have to hope he doesn't draw it. We'll play first. Corrupt Harvester could help a lot in this matchup. Malice Demon is kind of a late play, but I'll keep this. We'll go ahead and keep this. This is kind of going to be a slow game, anyways. I already we already know it's going to be a much slower game than I thought it was. So we'll 
gonna start out with that. Maybe I'll have an early Inquisition again. I need two. No, I just need one Sapphire for that. So, yeah, Corrupt Harvester might be able to keep my head above water a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. What is it, Elliot? Isn't the numbers counting? Yeah, the numbers do count up. Ah. I was really feeling good about this deck, too, until, like, you know, spell shielded craziness. What? He's six. He's six? Yeah, he's seven. Now he's seven? Yeah. That's how many cards he has in his hand. He can't put cards in there. Puts cards in there? He can't. He can't? Uh, his swings I'll take one. I'd rather be able to necessary sacrifice this worker bot eventually. Plus I've got Corrupt Harvester coming down. Ruby Enchantress. Wow. He's all his first strikey, this guy. He put the card in. Yeah, he put the card in. Not a problem yet. If he attacks, I'll probably just take all of it. Or actually, I can throw a worker bot in front of one of his guys. I'll probably throw it in front of one of his guys. Jam Craze Berserker. He's got Swift Strike. He loves a Swift Strike, this guy. Yeah, that thing has Swift Strike, sure. He's got one resource left. He could burn. So I guess I'll just throw a worker bot in front of his um, sensei here, take three, and then I can give three back with the corrupt harvester and start gaining some life. Dang, why is there a fire over there? What? What's that fire over there? I, go, I, I can't necessarily sacrifice now, though. That's kind of unfortunate. One dango can help out here a bit. So we'll go ahead and swing in. When Tango is just enough, but he could buff his guy, and that would be bad for me. It might be better to just simply play the Gargoyle and take three instead. Yeah, I think that this, this is going to be better. Because so I can discard the Blood Shard, helps me push through the deck. Ah, Terrible Transfer, that's going to be helpful. I can just Terrible Transfer something. All his stuff has really low toughness, so Terrible Transfer is pretty good for that. That's really good, actually. Question is whether I want to terrible transfer this Ruby Enchantress or not. Mortar Strikes, my guy. That's pretty good for him. probably do want a terrible transfer the Ruby Enchantress. I just don't want that buff out there anymore. What are you doing, Elliot? That's definitely your ring in a gaming cord. That's how it was. The original ring was cold. And the ring is cold? Yeah. Yeah. Can't really counter me. Let's see. I guess I do want to play that. Throw that out. Aren't they what? Who's gonna die? Him. No, he's not gonna die. Huh? See, he could not really do very much. So. 
Yeah, I'd rather respond to a play with terrible transfer, so we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. I can always do it in his end step on Ruby Enchantress as well. Get Malice Demon next turn. That's pretty exciting. If I draw a resource, that is. Right now we're just kind of trading three damage, and I'm ahead. Which is good for me. And then Turbo Transfer will put me even further ahead by two. Fortunately, it's only two. Or is it three? Four? Oh, it's four. I actually get four from, t from Turbo Transfer. That's pretty good. Squirrel Titan. Mm. Do I want a terrible transfer to that Squirrel Titan? Yeah, I think I want to wait and I'll just terrible transfer the Squirrel Titan. We'll resolve. His ability goes on a stack. And I kill it before that happens to save my guy. Maybe. I think that's how it should work. So now his ability doesn't have any power. Wow, that was pretty tech play there. Why is going time? And a resource means I get to play the Malice Demon. Which is definitely the play here. It's a diamond. Diamond? Yes. You just you just need to get the numbers and the diamonds so you put in the diamonds and get numbers. got a one turn clock now. 8, 9, 10, 11, yep. So if he swings in, I basically just take it because I don't want to worry about any shenanigans here. Um, I can also necessarily sacrifice the worker bot, so I really don't, like if he swings, I I don't want to even have to worry about shenanigans. If he's going to kill this Malice Demon, he's going to have to do it outright. I kind of just yeah, I got lucky he didn't draw his, his craziness that time. So maybe we'll get lucky again. He lost. Yep, he did lose. We're going to save and continue. Yeah. You get down? Alright. Oh, let's see. He's, of course, going to play first. Early Inquisition seems pretty good. Malstein, of course, carried the game for us. We'll stick stick with this hand. Gearsmith might pick up an artifact. Oh wow, that's pretty bad. Uh, obviously, we're keeping. I think I can wait on Inquisition a turn because he's, he's still gonna. He's got those huge drops, so I don't have to do a turn two Inquisition. I can wait for him to draw some more cards. He could still win, I mean, on five. Like, he's got some... If he gets his crazy combo... I mean, he could still, like... Because I can't deal with that combo. I have... All, all my stuff is spot removal. And my deck plays pretty slow anyway, so... Yep. Yep, that sucks. Okay, so no card draw there with uh, no no artifacts. We saw an Oracle song. It's crazy. Replicated Thunderbird. And the early Corrupt Harvester, which you'll have to deal with. We got an Inquisition on turn three. It's looking pretty good for us right now on our side of the table. Yay, a shard. Ah! 
It's another interesting thing that you can do with this game that you really can't do with playing like Magic and stuff. Like I can sit here and play it with my four-year-old son on my lap, and it's distracting, but not as distracting as it would be at a major tournament, you know? You know, something a digital realm brings you that a physical realm really can't. I can still, I'm basically, at, between rounds, I can get off, go hang out with the, the wife and the kids, and then come right back. It's pretty nice to have that, uh, that ability. Runic Monolith, okay. I'm really questioning why he's running that. I mean, I, I guess if there's a one threat he has to, that can actually neutralize his threat, but I really just don't have those things in my deck. So we got a construction plans. I really feel like Inquisition is the play here, so that's what we're going to do. We'll play construction plans next turn. I can hold off on that, but he's some of the stuff he's got is so crazy. Okay, so... Heat wave could be pretty bad for me, but I think just getting rid of the Enchantress is going to be the best thing to do here. The other stuff I can deal with, so like the Enchantress is going to be the most annoying thing to deal with to, to buff all of his stuff. The heat wave, I'm basically beckoning a heat wave here by doing this, which is fine. Next turn I can play construction plans and put two counters on it, then he should heat wave maybe the following turn. Actually, I probably won't even play Construction Plans. I'll just keep pushing damage. I'll play Harvester. He actually might have a play next turn. Maybe. If he draws a resource. I think Harvester is going to be the best play to make here. Sapper's Charge, sure. He shouldn't use it because he's got Heat Wave in hand. Okay, so now I can't play the Harvester. Now I have to play Construction Plans. Because I don't want him to uh, sweep my guy. Or I could play Harvester and... Once I get enough that I can mutate and play Harvester in the same turn, then I can play it. I'm going to go ahead and just exhaust dudes now. Um, I could do this in response to his heat wave, but I'm just trying to save him time. If I mutate my own guy, it doesn't save him from mute, some, from heat wave. Plus, I don't think I get to draw a card. Or no, it's separate. So I, I still get to draw a card. But So I expect to see a heat wave here. And if, and if he does that, that's fine, because then his sapper's charge can't deal with Corrupt Harvester. Interesting play. I think that he should have heat waved, but okay. So I can play Harvester. He can still heat wave and do the thing. I think I'd rather just tap these guys down and get some some stuff going. No real reason to play Effigy just yet. Or I guess I can play Effigy and still mutate to get it out of range of heat wave. So that's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to. Uh, I guess I'll wait so I can block his dude right can't be blocked except for yeah so I can block him with my worker bot so yeah we'll just play effigy here and we'll pass turn and he should heat wave now and then I'll mutate effigy in response and uh, tap my guys for construction plans and then he'll swing in which case I'll take three or actually he shouldn't if he heat waves he'll kill his own guy so he should just swing is what should happen I'm, I don't know I'm not sure why you did this I guess he can still sappers charge my guy so then you know but that's still like I'm basically trading mutate for sapper's charge plus he it seems pretty good to me really he's gonna do that sure that's fine I can't exhaust effigy because it's a construct it is not a uh, robot it doesn't count as a robot so I can't exhaust it which is silly kinda looks like a robot but whatever I guess it's too good because it's socketable that's why I there's a card in set 2 that actually is like Effigy. It has two sockets in it. I believe it's a 4-4 four, four for 5. So, it has two minor sockets. It's a 4-4 four, four for 5, and it's a construct as well. It's not a robot. So, 
Mutate should draw me a card no matter what, which is fine. That's pretty good. And he's going to go ahead and Sappers charge my guy. I will mutate in response. Because he can't respond to that with, uh, he'll have to do it during, uh, he'll have to do a basic action speed to respond here. To, uh, sweep my field out, in which case I can then put some more counters. It kills all of his stuff, so there's no reason to do it. He still wants to attack here. So, I actually, I'm probably going to just block. Honestly, because he can still, uh, sweep if he wants. Do this. I guess set up blocks and then do all the tapping stuff down stuff. Actually, I don't want to block with that guy though. I'm gonna block this guy here. I guess I'll block that guy there. And then uh, uh, zoom out. Declare blocks. Just save myself the damage, really. Okay, use this. Sauce those guys. So this might force a one for one heat wave on Gearsmith so he doesn't have to deal with a War Hulk here. But eventually I should get enough I have one more shard to get and then I can put a put another uh worker bot in play. Yeah, he should have heat waved there, but okay. He's gonna let me have my guy. Uh yep, keep playing shards. So, I can actually go ahead and exhaust this worker bot. I can play Corrupt Harvester here. Which I can pull back with Call of the Grave. Go ahead and swing in with our Gearsmith worker bot to make the final part of our plans a reality. Bring it to fruition, as it were. I really think he's kind of misplayed Heat Wave, but whatever. I'm, I'm playing around Heat Wave, but it, it's, I'm surprised he hasn't used it yet. He may have drawn his bomb card, and he's just waiting to get enough resources to play it. Well, I'm one resource to play, away from playing my bomb card. So, I think mine matches up pretty well against his. Mine's a little bit faster on the damage. Plus, I'll have War Hulk in play. Okay, he plays Effigy. Still questioning why he's playing some of these cards and he should have be sweeping here, but okay. It's fine with me. I guess he can block my Harvester with this guy at least. He can use Runic Monolith to uh, exhaust my Corrupt Harvester. I don't know. It's not looking good like for him, if, from my standpoint right now, but I don't know. He has one more card in his hand. Well, I know what the card is. He's got Heat Wave. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't Heat Wave and then cast that guy. Because he can do all that in one turn. I don't know. I'm very, very puzzled by his plays right now. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and get our War Hulk out there. Still doesn't matter if he's gonna heat wave here or not. He's thinking about it. He would kill his own guy he just played though, so I don't I would be perfectly fine with that. He's Yeah, that doesn't seem good to me. Alright, so we get to play Malice Demon in our second main phase. That seems really good. I'm gonna go ahead and swing through with my um, Corrupt Harvester Warhulk. I know he has heat wave, but he can't cast it at uh, quick action speed, so he can't kill the harvester with it. He can block here, but I'll gain three life. Um, seems like not the best block. I don't care about his damage because I just gain three life. He deals two, I gain three, so I'm up one life every turn. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Especially after I play the Malice Demon, I think that's going to be it. He's kind of got lucky he didn't draw his craziness. But I think if he even drew it now, I think he's too far behind now. He didn't draw the crazy spell shielded, uh, whatever it's called, thing. Even if he kills my demon somehow, like I can call a grave it.
call it here. I made a big mistake. Yeah, not playing, uh... Hellhound's crazy. 